Hello everyone, I'm the Abysmal Kraken, and welcome to my tutorial on getting all the hidden achievements in Sphinx and the Cursed Mummy. The first achievement can be obtained right at the start of the game. If you've gone past the introduction section already, you'll have to begin a new save file in order to get it. You'll need to be spat onto the ledge with Horus by the Spitting Toad, the one with the flowers you need to throw stones at. Once you're up there, instead of throwing the stone at the flowers, you need to throw it at Horus. This will get you the first achievement. The next achievement brings us to the print section. Again, if you've gone past it, you'll have to be in a new save file. To get this achievement, simply put on the very fashionable pink outfit to the right side of the room, and then try and leave. You're simply too well dressed for them to let you out. Next up, we find ourselves in Heliopolis, outside the Cursed Palace. For this achievement, you will need a captured fire armadillo and the eagle stone. First, use the eagle stone on the platform. After the eagle has dropped you, climb the rope and use the fire armadillo to burn the wooden supports holding the boulder. This will cause the boulder to roll down the hill and smash open a pillar, providing you with the third hidden achievement. For anyone interested, the chest inside the pillar contains a gold ankh piece. Finally, we again find ourselves in Heliopolis. However, this time, we will need access to South Beach and Heliopolis Point, along with four Atunais and the cave door key from Gebel's Glyph Shop. You'll also need at least five scarabs and access to the boats. Firstly, make sure both Atun discs have been activated between the Jackal Man and the Lantern on South Beach by using the four Atun eyes. Next, open the cave door between South Beach and Heliopolis Point with the cave door key. This has to be done from the Heliopolis Point side of the door. I'd also recommend going to where the lantern is located and practice hitting it, as you have to hit the lantern on your first try for it to count in the race. When you're ready to race, talk to the Jackal Man and begin. Use the Atun discs to run through the cave door along South Beach and up the ledges to the lantern. Jump and hit the lantern before coming off the ledges and then use the close Atun disc to run to the boat. From here, choose to sail to Heliopolis Point. When you arrive, run to the Jackal Man and talk to him. If done correctly, he will berate you for using the boat to cheat and you will be given the final hidden achievement. I hope this tutorial has been helpful for you. If it has, please consider giving it a like and subscribing to my channel. If it hasn't, I would love for you to leave a comment telling me why, so I can improve future videos. I'm the Abysmal Kraken, thanks for watching.